All right, we've got a big one here, man. Going up against our former team, Sam Houston. They're coming off a win. We're coming off a loss that I would like to forget about. Um, real quick to take to take a look at it, recruiting here. Um, I mean, we just we need free safeties. We need safeties, just in general. Um, Tulane is in the lead for Cooper Khan here, who I would like to get. Um, we are in the lead for Chavez, and we're up there for Bouchard as well. Um, Townsend has not even reached his top eight yet. So, I mean, we can do something with him. We do have 90 points only. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna try something with him. We're probably gonna have to... I don't want to send all 50 on him, but, uh... Yeah, Cooper Con here, we're probably gonna have to do a little bit more with. Um, I think we're gonna take away that and add send the house on him. Um, <clears throat> Akeem Sweet here, we're losing to Tulane as well on him. Brenton Kashama, he's a bust, but he can play for us. My new saying. Um, Ben Knight, we are in the lead for McLeod, we are in the lead for, and there's a lot of big teams after McLeod. And, yeah, I mean, that, that, that's a pretty good freaking sign. And that's enough reason for me to want to add some more points to him. So, yeah, I we need to get some help back there, man. It's paramount that we do that. Um, Cole Crane, we are second four behind Tennessee. When it comes to cornerbacks, and like I said in the last episode, I do want to become more of a man cover type of team. We will offer him a Scully. We're not really doing anything with him, so we'll also DM him. And, uh, yeah, receiver-wise, we're I think we're looking pretty good. Yeah, we're still up there for Darren Harp. Um, Coco Huma, I really want to get him, and but the big one's Sam Wager. He's got that 97 speed, 94 acceleration. We are still in the lead for him, so... Um, Quarterbacks-wise, Stephen Ferris here, Stephen Ferris. Tulane is also in the lead for him, of course, because Tulane is just a recruiting freaking powerhouse. Um, 90 throw power, 87 short accuracy, 84 mid, 74 deep. Um, he's got eight, 78 speed. Um, I mean, I'd like to be able to run a little bit. That's why I'm kind of looking at him, but he is a field general. We did go after Terzilli here, but we got locked out because of a deal breaker playing time. So we're just going to get up and get him up out of here. Um, yeah, we have five more points. I don't really know where I would want to spend this. Um, I mean, maybe Moses Leon, 6'5", 204, 86 spectacular catch. I mean, he only has one offer. Uh, 87 speed here. I mean, if I'm gonna go for either of these, we could go for the in-state kid. I mean, I would go with the bigger option and the speedier one. So, we'll go ahead and offer him. You know, we do need receiver help very badly as well. So, yeah, that's the recruiting for the week. And taking a look at Sam Houston, man, we'll, uh... Let's see who they're coming off a win against, because not gonna lie, I'm a bit nervous. They are gonna be fired up to play me. I was the offensive coordinator there last year, if you're new here. I was the offensive coordinator, they're coming off a 30-12 to 12 win over FCS East, so. Um. <sighs> we are going on the road. Man, they're gonna be fired up, bro. Um. Let's just take a look at their team real quick. I'm going to see a lot of familiar faces. I know I am. Um, we'll just... We'll, we'll see. Dude, we're going to be favored. We are the better team overall-wise. Jace Bauer is probably going to light us up because our safeties are complete ass. So, yeah, Jace Bauer. Probably going to light us up. John Gentry won the Heisman for me last year. 94 speed, 95 acceleration. Burr's an absolute freaking dog. Uh, res uh, fullback. Receiver-wise, Simeon Evans. Dude's an absolute menace. Had the most touchdowns for us receiving-wise last year. 
Uh, other than that, their defense, their receivers are not fast. They're not that fast. Um, they're just good at catching the freaking ball. Garza's a pretty good tight end. The offensive line wise, they're looking pretty good. Center's kind of sus right there. Quentin Brewer, we did rec recruit him. And Sammy Heaney, we also recruited him. Um, Montanez, we recruited him. Uh, but yeah, they got a lot of the guys back that they had last year. Um, Tyron LaBelle, 69 overall, we recruited him, got him towards the end of the tenure, the, toward, towards the end of the season, uh, towards the end of our tenure. Um, but yeah, defensively, they're looking not that great. I mean, there's, wow, dude. Chance and Prox, 99 speed, 98 acceleration. Ah. Uh, I mean, they're better in man coverage overall. Safety wise, they're, I mean, they're not looking too bad. They're not looking too bad. This is a game that we should win. We should win it, right? And uh, last episode we wore, uh, I think these. Yeah, we wore those. So we're gonna go with something different. We're gonna go with the all blue, I think. Now we'll go with the white and the blue. And uh, Sam Houston gonna be wearing the all orange. So that works for me, man. Let's get it. I'm freaking nervous, but let's go. Elliot T. Bauer Stadium. Man, look at it. it bring, it's so nostalgic, and it just happened last season, man. Winning legacy and one that they hope follows them to the upper reaches of college football. We've got a sensational matchup for you. Fans have been filing in and getting ready for this Bro, game. Look at the fan support. Okay, man, dude, look at the fans in the stands. Look at what we did for that program, bro. We brought them up from a one-star to a two-star. Oh, God. All right, Jamari Hawkins, we're... Okay, let's just... Let's go, man. Our star receiver there. Okay. Come on. We gotta bounce back after last week, bro. Damn, where did you come from? All right. Okay, so let me see. Dude, Sutton Smith already has wear and tear. That's crazy. They're in zone right there. Okay, can I go... Quarterback sneak. I'm not pissing around. I'm getting the first down. I need this win, bro. I'm not losing to my former freaking team. Do you know how embarrassing that shit would be? If I lose my former team, I might just freaking retire, to be honest. Now you can leave, and there is no penalty, so a lot of recruiting, Jesse, on other people's teams that go on throughout a season. Yeah, it's 365, and it's a lot of pressure on coaches to re-recruit their own players. Oh, my God. Get the block. Let's go, Sutton. You're off to the races, boy. Get up out there. Oh, shit. Number 20 is fast as shit. That's the corner, isn't it? That's the 99-speed corner, isn't it? Has to be. Good freaking run there, Sutton. This guy strikes fears into the hearts of every defensive coordinator, David. With that speed, number twenty struck fear into me. My grass, God. Man, he's gone. It's just silly. Look at the angle. Spin got Cooper Conley in. I think that's his name. So Cooper. He can outrun those angles. Pretty sure. Enormous plays. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Let's go. Looking downfield, it's Boyd. There we go. Get up in there, Leverett. Touchdown. Boom. Good drive. Alright, man. Now, we see how our two true freshman safeties fare against this offense. Against an ex- and, uh, Against an- uh, 
an inferior opponent. I could not think of the word I wanted to say. I I wanted to say superior, but I knew that that was not the right word. Um, all right, they want us to play man. I mean, I that think that may work. I mean, they're not overly fast. Oh God, John Gentry, I miss you, bro. There he is. Oh shit. And he's quick too, bro. God damn, I miss him. Why couldn't you hit the portal and come with me, dude? Oh no. Defense is gonna have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. They're getting this Come here. Oh god, he scares me, dude. Stop him, stop him, stop him. Alright, let's bring some pressure. Alright, they're running in between the tackles, so I'm gonna pinch my line. For oh my god. What do we do? We'll try this. And the Bearcats with the first and ten. Oh boy. Looking for space. It's Gentry. And that's a very Damn man, he's just beating our ass. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Damn it, dude. the gates get it to my playmaker going full speed across the formation with a touch pass you better be able to adjust to it and when you adjust i thought he was going to go to the out jesus christ they just ran all the way down our throat and they just keep feeding it to their workhorse back to open this game. they should not be running the ball that well dude tremendous vision he can make people miss you saw all of that but it's also freaking gentry and he's an absolute monster dude Oh god, I'm in for a freaking beat down, ain't I? Giving up 70 freaking three points last week or whatever the hell it was. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Here comes that Memphis offense back onto the field. If you like old fashioned, grind it up, run over him football, that last touchdown drive was for you, Jesse. That was impressive, man. Damn, what is going on? What are we sidestep dancing for? And now you wonder how the defense responds. Like, are they going to get way more aggressive to try to stop the run? I got to do something to break the rhythm of that running game. It's complete to the right. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Well, the defense did a nice job taking everything away down the field, but once the drag route was caught, they just couldn't rally to the ball carrier in time to make a tackle. And as a result, new set of downs. Going up top on first down. Unloads to the right. Oh my god, dude. Defensive Fudge. Sort of threw them out of rhythm. After the misconnection, it's second down. Easy. The give is to Smith. Finds his way for three after the I feel like we can't afford to not score, dude. That's just how I feel with the defense. From the gun, wants to pass. To the oh, I thought it was going to be too far out. Let's get out of bounds, Clues. I thought we were going to miss him for a minute. Thank God he's quick. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down mark. Back to throw, it's Boyd. Let's go. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Memphis hoping to take advantage of this red zone trip. Here's the handoff. 
You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Connor Conley, I called him Cooper. He's looking to throw. The sweet feet keeping the play alive. He just threw that one away. Nobody was getting open. He had to live to fight another play in the red zone. It'll be third down. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Trying to move the sticks on third down. Oh, thank God that was off. Damn, man. Oh, that sucks. I feel like that just screws us, man. Not gonna lie. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. All right, man. What do we do defensively? That running game was impressive, taking them right down for a touchdown last time. Just play your gaps. Play your gaps. Play your gaps, man. That's all you gotta do. Do your job. Play your gaps. So if you're on offense this next drive, take a look at their safeties and see if they're creeping up into the box. Because of your success running the football, this might be time to take a shot down the field and play out. Okay, third and two. They're going four receivers. Just a simple power play. Again, not sexy. Run the ball up the middle. Physicality, offensive line. They so assert themselves. Run block, what they love to do. Oh, short. Damn it. Oh, we needed that, dude. And the Bearcats come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Give to the running back. They open the lane and he hit it again of five out to the 33. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. To throw, it's Bauer. A little release to the back. Short. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just Okay, what do we do? You know, it's funny. I know running backs oftentimes are afterthoughts when it comes to the passing game, but when you think we about need it, this, stop. this guy's been making people miss his entire Come here. Life. Let's go, man. Try to get him involved in the passing game as well. You just saw That's that big. Play, we need to score again now. We need to catch. score again. And the bear I should, I should not be bringing the whole house here. Not really the house, but I don't... Want to get no freaking roughing the punter penalty, dude? He'll bring it back. It's Banks. He gets it up to the I should just do punt return safe every time because we're I don't need to block punts. The, the chances of it happening are so low. It just takes away the risk of roughing the punter. Coming across in motion, headed for the corner on the jet sweep, and this one will be stopped for no gain. Emon Allen still there. Defense getting a lot of hats to the football. That receiver's a fast dude. But this defense, they've got a lot of team speed themselves. Ready to catch the ball, Hawkins. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Line is set on third down. Here's the snap. Itching to fire downfield. God, dude. Complete, and that'll be the final play of this quarter. That's the end of the quarter. We've got to get that pass off. Let's have a look at the stats as we play. We just have to. We'll send the punt team onto the field. He'll try to really get into this one. Wouldn't call it a shame. Please take a good bounce. Included on his greatest hits. Now we gotta get another stop with only a three-point lead. Go back to work. David the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up. They are using Gentry just like I did, bro. It's crazy. Please get him. Dude, they are abusing Gentry. Like, I gave them the blueprint to a crazy offense, and I'm... Um, bunch of yards on first down make that second down really really manageable that's a great job by the offense oh my god Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first this guy is their whole offense he's already got 11 carries for 78 freaking yards he's got a head of steam boy he is hard to bring down 
Okay, there's something going to be going on here. They're not going to go five wide. Yep, 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 yep. Come here. I just shoved him forward. Every time they go five wide, I'm expecting some motion like that. Come here. You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion. All right. So Fourth down, or third and nine. That's why offenses love to run it. Just, it makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get him out of a spot. Gonna pass commit here. On third Watch down, Gentry. On oh my god, brother. They'll throw it on first down. No fudge. Catch in the middle, it's Johnson. They'll finally put the brakes on him at the three. A big throw catch and run on that one. Dude, I want to go man freaking coverage down here, okay? Time. Spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive. Move inside, man. He'll do it himself. of the option you've seen the evolution with scrambling quarterbacks they can run and he's so dynamic and just so much to defend the quarterback says forget that you defend everything i'll take it myself in for six on the run from inside his own five he was looking for some running room but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. memphis has the ball back and the offense ready to go to work Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Palmer. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. And he was Get the ball to him, Connor. Or, freaking not Connor. Harris. Here comes the offense on second down. Get set, get set. To the air, it's Boyd. Oh, that's the 99 speed corner. Ah, oh, that's not gonna work, Luke. You cannot throw with the 99 speed corner, okay? He has 99 freaking speed. But at that point, I already freaking committed to it. We cannot do play action right here. We're gonna have to go back to this. Shut up. There we go, Leverett. You gotta be thud. No, no, no. You gotta be shitting me. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Memphis will be forced to punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the coverage team all over it, and the punt is down inside the four. We gotta get a stop here, at least force a field goal. We have to. No other choice. We have no choice, dude. We do not want to get down two scores. We need to force a field goal. You gave him the ball, and he delivered the goods. Great job. Good tackle. He really did, I mean, that was a master class of just reading coverage and being accurate. On second down. Screen, screen, screen. He just got rid of that one to save the down. Didn't see All anything right. he liked. Now, third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a deuce. We need to stop. We off. need this. From the gun, wants to pass. Go underneath. He's Get that. Good stop. On Good job, Isaac. True freshman back there, man. The Bearcats will Good shit. To pin them back with the punt. This will be the second time um, Dude, yeah, I need to start doing punt return safe. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the bear catch. I keep just I keep forgetting about it. I need to do it. It's going to hurt us at some point. We saw this offense. We had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. It just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's gonna have to step up and make a play. Who got the ball first? Yeah, let's Me? Find some juice. Find your guy. Find those I think I did. I don't know. Inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Defense there to stop him after a two-yard gain to the 31. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Back 
to pass, it's Boyd. Oh, they switched. They freaking switched. They switched. Number 20 went back. Oh, my God. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Fall forward. Thank you. Let's go. Good shit. Have enough for the first All right, we are gonna run clock. That wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive. Good freaking way to fall forward and fight Doyle. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback. Cut up. And a great job seeing the motion coming across the formation, understanding the jet sweeps of possibility, pulling the trigger, going and getting the guy on the ground. Ah, uh, god damn, bro. You're really gonna jump. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. And now on second down for this offense. They'll give it to the back. They bring him down, and he's gonna lose a yard on that one. Two-minute warning. I kind of wanted to get the play off, though, because it's looking pretty good, bro. Penetration. Everybody up near the line of scrimmage, shooting the gaps quick, getting in the backfield, getting the guys burned. Man, that play was looking nice. Here's a snap, ready to cut one loose. Got it set up on the outside. And we just got speared on the way back by Roman Reigns. Turn off Juke. What the fuck? Yeah, turn off Juke clock. game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards of pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. To the air, it's Boyd. Throwing right. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You gotta wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. Okay, we're gonna run some clock here. The quarterback changing I want the play uh, Smith to go behind me. Yeah, I'm going to run this clock down to about 15, probably. Uh, or around that. I'm going to look at Smith or Leverett. I'm not going to do anything too crazy. Maybe Banks coming across if I have that amount of time. Looking to throw on second down. Right there, Banks. There we go. Good shit, man. Beautiful last drive right there. Now we just gotta hold him off the scoreboard for 12 seconds, which is easier said than done. And I hope we get the ball after half, but I, I don't think we do. I don't know, man. My memory sucks. Alright, we're gonna play prevent. I don't give a damn. I don't trust them not to beat us over top. Running back searching for a hole. They gonna take a timeout? They are. Alright, no no no. Prevent. You're not getting me to go and cover two, I can promise you that. One more snap coming before halftime. Trying to find his man on first down. Pick it! Oh my god, return this! Return it! Come on, Mackie! Shit! <sighs> okay, well... Damn. That would've been so big. <sighs> How's the half sta halftime stats looking, man? 165 through the air, 85 rushing. 
They're running the ball all over us. We're owning time of possession. Both averaging 7.6 per play. They get the ball. Damn it, dude. How can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen. All right, but we are leading at halftime. Okay, that's the positive. To which team is more efficient when they have the ball? I suck at hit sticks, man. <laughs> see what type of adjustments they made at halftime and getting the ball first here i think is screen like, good freaking recognition by that by the defense man create some momentum for my squad right here in the i ran man yeah, coverage so there too offense to set the tone here early in the second half i mean man coverage is working pretty good for us and get your defense ready to come on out get a stop and change the complexity of this game looking down the middle tight end getting vertical and he almost ran we're gonna go zone. They're gonna run the ball. I don't want to run commit, but I kind of do. But they're gonna run the ball. They're running to the left. No, they're not. Give me it, fudge! I broke it up though. Dude, I'm getting real mad at being that close and not getting the freaking pick. Force him inside. Good shit. Third and eleven. What do I do? They're trying to run the football. There's just nowhere to go for the ball carrier inside. He tried to bounce it to the outside. That cover three match. I'm gonna show cover two. Now facing a third and long. Dropping back. It's Bauer. Get that out of here. Good coverage. Good freaking coverage, Cameron Miller. Alright, defense playing a lot better this week. I, okay, again, I did not do punt return safe, and that always scares me when I see that guy coming off the edge like that. Alright, we got a score here, man. I don't want to be stressed out going on defense. Memphis has the ball back, and the offense ready to go to work. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this. He wants to go deep. Damn it, dude. We had some people open, too. I don't know what defense they just ran, but we had some stuff. I don't know if I'm going to have time for this. The play action fake. Steps away to find some room. I didn't like anything. I did not want to throw a pick. He'll cut his losses and throw it away. It'll be third down. They line up and I'm liking Shelly being over there alone. I'm going to Shelly. Let's go stay in. Damn it. I always try to get that corner isolated. come to the line with a new set of downs. It's always a problem if that safety helps over the on, the jet sweep. on the corner. Good run, Leverett. On that play, it's second and two. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they play action the scissors. This game, this play was really good in NCAA 14. On second down, was the throw. Oh God! Thank God it hit the ground because that defender broke down on that route right there. Third and two. We're going for this if we don't get it. I wish I had a quarterback that was quicker, dude. Dude, I really do. We're going to out route Banks. No! Good catch, but dude, I thought you were on a different route. Damn. It's amazing how fluid and potent an offense can see. You're not going to press us like that. He's got outside positioning right there. We're going to wheel route Smith. Oh! Dude, I keep throwing at that quick freaking corner. I need to stop. Nice job in coverage there. Offense trying to take a shot downfield. The defender able to tip that one up in the air and force it incomplete. On third and short. Your bigs versus our bigs, man. Hey, get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. 
Sam Houston's a tough freaking team to play, dude. He's gonna pass. They're bringing heat. Just gets rid of the football. I didn't feel comfortable throwing anything right there. Defense has to be frustrated. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Here we go. Get out of bounds. Don't take. That's a late hit. Memphis now operating in the red zone. They're threatening to score and they'll throw it. Quarterback extends the play. And he scurries out of bounds and wisely avoids taking the big hit. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Movement here from the tight end. They'll leave it with him. Okay. I'm not kicking a field goal here. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without. I'm gonna flip this, so I don't want to run at that star player. They'll try to pick. Give me some blocks, boys. That's fine. We're just gonna go uh, quarterback sneak. Run the football, be physical, find a hole, get downhill, Palmer, and get the first down. Hopefully we can punch yeah, this in with this. Like this guy. He just Boom. Okay, <sighs> man. That's big. Gives us a two-score lead. I mean, we're not gonna be really aggressive on defense, but, you know, we don't have to be stressing over it constantly. Absolutely right, Reese. That was a clinic. Running the ball. We've been doing better defensively, though. We've kind of figured things out a little bit. Damn, my hit stick sucks. It's a good stop, though. 16 yard line. All right. Are they gonna throw the ball more? Or are they gonna keep continuing to like, you know, run it? This looks like a run. Hand off. Got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. Yeah, I mean, I that's what I would do too. Just continue to give it to Gentry. You're not in a position yet where you have to throw the ball. It's not really that urgent. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. Looking to throw, it's Bauer. Oh! Make the tackle. Damn, bro. It is a. Not even a half second early, just a, the tiniest little bit earlier on that, and that's a pick six. We got your. Oh my god! That should have been no gain at all, but he turns it into a gain of six. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Good thing the receivers are slow, man. That could have been disastrous. Coming out on first down with the play fake. I knew it. I knew it was going to go to 15, dude. I lost him in the play action, though. I went over to play the jet sweep, possibly. And then I knew it was going to 15. I freaking knew it. When you got an arm like this and you could just boom, put it on a line, it's really nice to have. The give to the back. Got some room in. Gentry is tearing us apart, dude. Like I thought he would. Alright, this is a big drive, dude. Alright, 
Here comes the speed on the jet sweep. Gets it out to the 40-yard line. Give him five on that. I do want to run some clock. So as a defense, do I load the middle where they can run the football, you know, up the gut and really come attack me downhill right now? Or do they hit me with a jet sweep? It's really tough to play defense when you got to defend both. And you gave it the first down there on the outside. And a good solid. All right, we're going to take that to the end of the third quarter, dude. Oh, man, we have a finish on our hands. Maybe. Hold on. I was gonna snap it. I was gonna snap it. I like them pressing the, the slot fade right there, but maybe it's better that the time ran out. Who knows? I mean, both running backs having great games, dude. Ah. Uh, big fourth quarter. All right, they backed up. I'm gonna Nope, they brought him back. I don't think they're playing. Looking for a man. It's Boyd. Oh my god, it's a linebacker on Leverett. Let's freaking go, man. That feels good, dude. He's a freshman, too. So they're not able to get back deep enough to get run by. He makes the catch and then runs it into the end zone. They're going to have to change up their coverage. He's going to be a really good player for us, man. He's had a good, good two games so far. Leverett has. That's a forced passing touchdown for Harris Boyd. And the extra point extends the lead to Believe a redshirt sophomore quarterback. On that scoring drive, just four plays. All right, we're sitting pretty good. As long as we don't let them score fast, when we get the ball back, we can run some more of the clock. Oh man, I got hiccups now. Okay. We just gotta make them work for it, man. Don't give them nothing easy. drive was surgical through the air jesse it sure was and that's why this offense is so dangerous david because they can they're gonna keep running the ball that's gonna be fine and welcome to modern college football that's what it is spread you out find my playmakers make quick decisions i'm gonna switch my defense as well i didn't mean to do cover four but that's what we're doing on second down give me that bro what the fudge I was there, man. If that's Madden, that's a pick. We're not really making them work for it. Oh my god, they love throwing those screens, dude. These RPOs. I mean, we're going to go cover two if they're going to keep doing that. He'll keep it himself. Come here. Oh, oh, get the ball. Let's go. Oh, we're bringing it. I don't care. Damn. Dude, that's so freaking massive. I was going to hit stick him too, dude. Oh, my God. I'm gonna take another look at that play real quick. That was. Oh yeah, who was that that forced it? Bell. Yeah, dude, my guy right there on the left. I was coming to do the same shit. Ooh, please tell me that was a fumble. You do make the decision to run right or wrong. Yes, it it's was. I was afraid they were gonna review it. You can't fumble the football. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh the my god, that's a clutch play. That safety stepped up. The gift to the back. May not be the most memorable play of the day, but it's important as he All right, we're still milking clock, right? Yeah, we are. And I like the first thought process right here. Run the football. We want to run that clock with the lead. Thank you to the defense for forcing that turnover, setting us up. Now, if we can put a few first downs together, we're looking really good. And he's brought to the ground, but not. We are not going to lose this game, man. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Trying to turn the corner on Come on, Leverett. My god, that corner's quick too. I don't know what Leverett's speed is, but 
because when they run jet swoops, they don't always give them the football. Right. I mean, I'm not too, I'm not worried about scoring the football this drive. Seeing the jet sweep. Oh, that linebacker is stuck over. Getting the speedster on the ground. They'll try to keep this clock moving on the ground. I probably should have bounced outside. And he's able to shed one tackle, but still, just a very short game. Right, we just ran this under three minutes. Third down for this offense. Quarterback checking off. Looking for a man. It's Boyd. Trying to get to him. And this looks That's fine. I didn't throw an incompletion. We're going to run some more clock off. I was not throwing that ball unless I saw something good. He's going to return that. He's got great speed. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. This one feels as if it's starting to get away from them a little bit, Jesse. Yeah, Reese. Screen. Of teams in college football at this no, it's point, not. Just Looked like a screen at first. A lot about this team right just running out of opportunities. If you give opportunities away like this, you're trailing every possession is going to be important. For ah, the shit. Throws to the back. He caught the ball. down the sweet feet by a get up there time. hit him hit him hit him hit him let's go another fudge and what a break to get that football back at this juncture that would have been catastrophe timeout time clock out. stopped anyway timeout make sure everyone has the same call <sighs> first and goal and a great opportunity to slice into this lead Here's the snap. Get him. To throw. This is hard for the way touchdown, so let's not put this one to bed just yet. Man, listen, still a ways to go, but great job by this offense getting you back in the ball game. Now, we got a one possession game. They're going to onside kick me? No, they're not. Now, how do we get this stop? Now, the defense has to get up big and give me the rock back. Let it go. All right. 28. We need to get a first down. That'll be a touchback. They'll bring it out to the 25. Memphis has the ball back and the offense ready to go to work. So we've got a tight spot here, David. They'd love to run out the clock, but all those timeouts staring at them. And they got three timeouts on defense, but I know a first down ends this football game. So I got to get my guys it's a good start. ready to roll. Yeah, because you know this defense is going to be playing the run. They're going to be loading the box, trying to get tackles, using their timeouts to get the football back. Trying a little bit of a stretch. Come on, Doyle, you got to get that block, man. Y'all got to help me. Second and five. Smith takes the handoff. Oh! And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. I don't want to get the ball back to him. Quickly trying to get that ball back and preserve I really don't. This is a big pressure moment for the offense, too, because they've got the lead, but it's now third down on their own side of the field. They would love nothing more than to be able to convert this, stay on the field, keep leading the clock, but the defense, I'd expect them to bring pressure here. Move! The ball out of the QB's hands quickly. And the defense had his hands full, but they finally wrestling down short of the first down. with the offensive line's assignment. Well, let's make it. Tries to surge ahead on the sneak. Boom! How about that? Come on! Late game. game. Get some first down. Oh, my God. This is the exact position you want your offense in. Imposing their will, right, David? I mean, we know we're running it. You know we're going to run it. We're trying to... Holy shit. You want to talk about building confidence? What a freaking game, dude. We were gonna lose if we gave that ball back to him. I just had that feeling, bro. I just had that freaking feeling. We were gonna lose if we gave that ball back. And I was afraid that we were too far away from the first down line that the, the quarterback sneak was not gonna be, you know, he wasn't gonna dive far enough. That shit scared me. 
I almost called a timeout and switched to play. But I looked at the I looked at the defense. I'm like, no, nah, we're not gonna get that. We're gonna get block shedded so bad, and we're gonna get stopped. So I just went with my gut, man. Oh my God, we freaking win. Very even in terms of offense. 412 for them, 418 for us. I mean. 162 yards on the ground for us, 167 for them. John Gentry, dude, oh my god. Bro stressed me out all game. Um, 8 of 13 on third down conversions, really freaking good for us. We forced two turnovers, one big one at the goal line um, on, on Bauer there. Um, and we had the interception before the half. Time of possession though, 18 minutes. We controlled the ball for more than half the game, bro. Easily. We controlled the ball for almost three quarters of the game. So that's that's exactly what I strive to do, and that's what we did, man. Bauer, 18 to 23 for them, 245 and a touchdown. Gentry, 19 for 119 and two touchdowns. And then through the air, Gentry, four for 51, dude. I mean, ugh. I do miss him, not gonna lie. Um, Passing-wise... Uh, Harris Boyd, really good game. 16-29, 256, 3 touchdowns. Um, yeah, I mean, he, he's playing pretty well for us the first two games. Um, Sutton Smith, 19 for 134, no touchdowns. Harris Boyd had the quarterback sneak for the touchdown. Um, Leverett led the team in catches, 5 for 105 and 2 touchdowns, then you got Sutton Smith, um, Brendan Doyle, Jacoby Banks, and Brady Cluse who had a couple big catches, uh, Jacoby Banks also had a touchdown catch. Um, defensively, Isaac Afrayi again, leading the team in tackles. Um, he did it last week too, had 11 tackles against Iowa State. <clears throat> and Demetrius Cook, so our two safeties, our two true freshman safeties, led the team in tackles. Uh, three tackles for loss for Javante Mackey and two for Chandler Martin. No sacks, an interception by Javante Mackey. Forced fumble, two for DJ Bell. He forced both fumbles on Bauer. Um, and Demetrius Cook re recovered the first one. Uh, Isaac Fry also had a pass breakup, so some good stuff there by the 65 overall true freshman free safety. Uh, yeah, defense played a lot better today, I think, or definitely, than they did against Iowa State, so I'm uh, pretty pleased, pretty freaking pleased. We're almost up there to level 17, um, our brand exposure did go up, so that that's nice to see. Um, couple players here at risk of transferring. Overton, very much so. Hawkins is also at risk. And Vic Burley is also at pretty good risk, man. We do not want to lose them. Um, but Javante Mackey wins American Defensive Player of the Week. One interception, two tackles, and he also had, a. Oh no, the interception. That's what I was thinking of, I think. Um, but yeah, now we gotta get a Troy, man. Troy's sitting at one and one. Um <sighs> Does not get any easier, huh? But yeah, hope you all enjoyed, man. If you did please drop a like at the subscribe button and uh you're in the win column, man. Love to see it. So let's try to make it two in a row against Troy in the next episode. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.